So it's been a few days since I released my SOP for using the playground with the assistance API to create content with product images already inside. Now, before we go into this video, I will say that the playground does this much better than ChatGPT. However, I do admit that it's incredibly complicated. And if we just want an easier way to do this, then I am now releasing this um, custom GPT inside ChatGPT. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at how this works today. It works in exactly the same way. And again, there are a few complicated things here, but you don't actually have to do things in my ridiculously complicated way. So basically you do slash start and it says what website am I ranking for? I think at the same time here, I'm just gonna show you the difference and I'm actually gonna use the assistance API at the same time. So we'll do both and we'll compare the output. So yeah, we'll run start here. We'll give it two men right here. And this will also ask for the website. So we'll run this. What is the keyword rank for? Let's say best Italian jean, no, best designer jeans 2024. We'll do everything exactly the same. Best designer jeans 2024. Uh, it then should do some NLP. Um, sometimes it works really well. Sometimes it works absolutely crap. It just, just kind of depends, to be honest with you. So let's see, NLP best designer jeans. Yeah, so as you can see, this has completely failed. This is not NLP at all. This, on the other hand, is NLP. So already you can see that the platform is better here. Um, and it's asking for internal links. Um, I always use the same method for internal links. If you don't know this method by now, I will quickly explain it. You basically, you go to your sitemap, you go to your collections and use something called sitemap to clipboard, uh, which is a Google Chrome extension, which has 917 users now. And you click it and then you press start and it will automatically give you relative internal links. So if I paste here, you'll see there's a crap ton of internal links. I will close some of the, I will delete some of these uh, just because there's a few too many. Don't really need this many to be fair. So we'll delete up to here as well. Add and run. How long do you want the content? Large, please use three generations. So you kind of have to say this in chat GPT because otherwise it just, it just writes really, really low amounts of content per heading, okay? So there are certain things that you have to do differently inside chat GPT. Whereas here in the playground, you can just write large. Now, my, my biggest update recently to content writing is that I've worked out that you can put images automatically inside the content. Now, the first thing you can do to do this, okay, you can either do it the easy way or the complicated way. And the complicated way is much quicker, but it is a lot more complicated. Um, in the SOP, you'll find um, actually this paste bin right here. I'm gonna add this here. So, um, or, okay, there we go. So I would recommend using the second one here, not the first one, uh, on point number nine of the SOP. I haven't changed the SOP, this is still exactly the same. And basically what, I, what this is, is it's a scraper which will scrape your sitemap automatically, okay? And this is really, really cool, but it is also very, very complicated. Um, and you will have to change it for your website specifically. But once it's set up, basically what you can do is you can add a keyword such as jeans. So because we're doing an article about jeans, um, that's perfect. Let's just close some of these. Don't need that. Hope I didn't just mess something up there. Okay. You can just see how much effort and time I put into these things. Okay, so this is two men products.py. Um, again, I'm not gonna go into too much detail here, but basically what you can do is you can put this into ChatGPT and say, can you make it work for my Shopify website? That's if it doesn't work, okay? You can give it a Shopify link like this and say, read this, understand the HTML, understand where everything is. I need the description, let's say, for example. And then the product URL and the product image comes from the sitemap, okay? So you need to put your sitemap here and your search term here. So we're doing jeans. Again, not going into too much detail because I don't want to put people off. You don't actually have to do this. You can just uh, put, you know, the URL 
here, for example, and then right click here, copy image ad address here, and then just, you know, the say title, and then do this for your products. But because I write a lot of content, I have to find quick ways to do things. So we will run this script, python 2 menproductspy This will find 20 random genes. It will give the description, the photo, and the link to the product for 20 pairs of genes, which is pretty cool, to be honest with you. It is very, very helpful, very, very um, like time-saving, which is the most important thing. When I'm in in this kind of area of work, when you're writing a lot of content, anything that saves you know five minutes per article is a huge, huge save. So we'll copy this and we'll put this here, and we'll say at the top, do not forget to embed product images. Remember to use three generation if necessary. Okay, so that's a lot of content, so that might be too long. It's not too long, perfect. Uh, this is too long. Okay, so we'll just get rid of some of these. I don't, it shouldn't be too long, but something to do with these quotes is making it too long. So, oh, it seems to be running anyway. Please provide an example article. So here I'm going to attach example1.text, which you can find again in the SOP. Should be one of these. Um, yeah, it's this one here. This is my best performing article ever written, and I wrote it by hand. Um, so you can use uh, you can use it. Basically, I'm giving you giving it away. So we're gonna cancel run here. I feel like it's gonna get stuck, which is kind of annoying. Uh, this didn't attach for some reason. Example dot text. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. It doesn't seem to be attaching. I'm not sure why. This seems to have frozen as well, of course. Okay, we'll just continue with ChatGPT for now because uh, this is frozen. I'll, I'll refresh this. First person plural, professional, professional tone. Okay, let's delete some of these. There's, there's obviously too many for for some reason. It's all these uh, measurements right here. It doesn't like them. It's too long. Let's see if this works. It might break now because of the um, the refresh, but we, we'll find out. Okay, perfect. This seems to be working pretty well this time. We'll say professional, first person, plural. Add and run. Go for it. <laughs> okay, I'm trying not to pause too much in this video just because I want to show you that I'm not doing anything different. I'm not hiding anything. Uh, this is literally the output. So something I've noticed with ChatGPT, and this is the main reason that I'm using the playground instead of ChatGPT, is it just doesn't embed the product images. It doesn't create lists. It doesn't create tables, etc., etc., which is really, really annoying, to be honest with you. As you can see here, it's literally not doing anything. Oh, it's, emb it's embedding the products. This is the first time this has actually happened um, since I started doing this. So it's embedding the products for once, but, I mean, there are no lists, but I'm not going to cry too much about that. So you can see here, this is supposed to be Tramorosa Blue Jeans. Let's open this up. You can see these are Tramorosa Blue Jeans. The way it works is because it's Python, the chan the, the, there's no chance of it messing up. It's not ChatGPT, it's Python. Okay, so Python doesn't make mistakes. Python is Python. Um, so it's really, really cool, actually. It just it will not make mistakes, um, which is super, super nice. So you can see this has worked finally. If you follow the exact steps that I showed you in this video, it will work for you. You just have to prompt it a few times and say, don't mess around. Please remember to use... Uh, product images, please embed my product images, it's super important. You know, that kind of stuff, just keep reminding it throughout. If you just say, get on with it, and you don't say that, I've tried this 10, 15 times, and it doesn't actually work, okay? So you do have to mention it a few times to get it to work. So this is the first section of the article, now I'm going to say continue here. 
Another reason I've been using the playground as well is because it's it's infinite, whereas um, whereas ChatGPT has a limit, obviously. I'll write the article, make it long. So it's actually written the article in one. Um, it doesn't normally do that, which is fine. It doesn't matter too much because this is a listicle article. It doesn't actually have to be that long. So it's not too big of an issue. You can see as well something else that's happened this particular time is that a lot of these are Tramarosa, which is one of our brands. It's okay, it's not a big issue, but I would have liked to have had different products here, but that's just the nature of how I chose the products. You can see most of these are probably Tramarosa. Yeah, there's a lot of Tramarosa here. I don't think there's many kit on, for example. Etc. Etc. So this is actually working now. I'm very, very happy to announce that Big Boss SEO content is going to be released at the end of this video. You'll find it in the description as usual. You'll find the SOP in the description. You'll find everything you need in this SOP. Just read it carefully. I promise you there is everything you need in there. You can decide whether you use um, it in, the, um, in ChatGPT UI or in the playground. Now finish the article. So one advantage that the the ChatGPT UI actually has is that it has this little copy button here. Now this is something that um, the Playground currently doesn't have. So that is actually a massive advantage, but I actually prefer the content that's made by Playground. So let's say now finish the article here. Delete this, delete this. You can see, beautiful, lots and lots of images, lots and lots of ranking opportunity right here. There's no tables though, as usual, just it completely ignores my request for tables. This is something that happens quite a lot. Now, this does take a little bit longer per article, but if it's going to rank, then it's better overall, even if it does take longer. There's nothing wrong with spending a bit more time on each article, provided that they're actually ranking. Now, I still do, I still think I'm going to be using the playground, to be honest with you, because I do think it's better um, still. But I'm happy to see that ChatGPT can actually embed products like this properly. Um, it took a little bit of kind of jigging around and learning new things and kind of tricking it and, you know, reinforcing what I wanted, etc., etc. You can see this is taking a lot longer as well. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm really, really happy um, that I made this video and did this live without you know, many pauses or anything like that. So the final thing we want to check is how long is this content in terms of words. Obviously, it's incredibly long um, if you take into account the images. But with just words, 1,403, amazing, perfect. This is really, really good. This is the kind of article that will rank. Um, it has links to the products as well if people want to buy them, which is a good way to actually sell products. And then we'll compare this to the output here of um, the, oh, this is way better. You can just tell, <laughs> it's, like, it's like 50 times better. I can just tell already. So I will show you what to do from the playground. Um, there are less images here, but you could uh, just take some of these images, for example, if you did them both at the same time. Or you could say, add more images, or you could just add more images yourself. I am actually kind of, happy that ChatGPT added more images. So now it's kind of a toss-up. It's a really, really hard toss-up to choose between these two things, actually. Uh, I guess it's personal preference, and also ChatGPT costs 25 bucks a month, whereas, I mean, the Playground, this article costs basically nothing. I can actually check, I think. I'll just quickly go on usage before I show you how to turn this into a full article. Uh, I was using it last night. Yeah, that's not that's not accurate. It was probably less than 50 cents. So the last thing you want to do is you want to go to clipboard to markdown. You can just write it on Google. And then control V here. And then control A, control C to copy it. And then as you can see in the SOP, I have this prompt here. Uh, so we go to the playground here. And something really, really cool is they actually have presets now. So preset, I go to blog post. No, wrong one. Uh, content Improver, this one right here. I just paste this here, and then right at the top, I always say, um, just format everything correctly. Do not remove any formatting or remove any content. 
Okay, perfect. And then we'll submit this, and then this will turn this into a fully fledged article. And while that's doing that, let's just check out the length difference. This is longer, 1757. So it's really a choice, guys. It's a, it's a choice that everyone has to make. Do they want to use the playground or do they want to use ChatGPT? I can't tell you what to use. Honestly, they're kind of as good as each other now that I know that you, you can trick ChatGPT into actually following your instructions. But I will be releasing everything. Um, I'll release this right now, actually. So copy this link and put it into the SOP. Or just use ChatGPT UI. Uh, is this accessible to everyone? Let me just quickly check. Uh, yes, it looks like it is. Okay, great. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I really hope this helps you make some amazing content. If you want me to make more videos and more content about this process right here, please let me know. But you can just put this in ChatGPT, give it one of your product links, and say, make this script work for my products. And that's it. Thanks for watching and peace out.